Ladies, gamers, and gentlemen, we are jumping straight into a different series. Apologies. But it's still going to be a TVZ. Just the players are going to be different. It's going to be Happy facing off versus none other than Nurtio from Team Acer. It's uh, the first best of three of the series. Uh, the score should be 0-0. Zero, zero. As far as I am aware, Nurcio is spawning in the bottom left location on Overgrowth and his opponent, Happy, is in the top right. Let's take a look at how this series shapes up. Should be a very close series indeed. These guys have even chances, each one of them, of winning. Looks like Happy is going to open with a Reaper opener. Very standard opening for most Terran players. Gives you a lot of mobility out on the map. It gives you early scouting options. And Nurcio, of course, very standard opener as well. 15 hatch, 15 pool. So, very nice indeed. There is the uh, scouting SCV and uh, the first Reaper on the way as well. Of course, this SCV's job will be to scout the timing of the pool, timing of the natural expansion, and the timing of the gas in the main base of Nurcio, or if any gas is being taken at all. That's also a question that a lot of Terran players want answered. So the second Reaper is in production. Now if there are Lings heading towards the natural of the Terran player, the second Reaper will be waypointed towards the not yet existent command center to guard it against those Lings. But with uh, the opener that Nurcio used, those Lings will not have a chance uh, to sneak past this Reaper, so eventually the second Reaper can join with the first one and do some uh, light form of harassment. I would be very surprised if Virtio lost even one lane over here. He's very good uh, at the opening stages of the game. He does still attempt to run those two lanes past. Oh, loses one. Probably will not be able to delay that command center of Happy's at the natural. Uh, for even one second as Happy is all the already on top of that Ling and he's going to chase all of those down actually which is really annoying for the Zerg player uh, it did however buy Nurcio enough time to get those two Queens up so now uh, the Reaper will not be able to do almost anything apart from jumping up the cliff, suiciding itself into the main base and uh, trying to get some scouting going for him Nurcio, upon mining 100 gas with his initial three drones in this extractor, started his metabolic boost upgrade and uh, then pulled those drones off. So he's definitely shooting for that quick third base, which should go down at around the six minute mark. And uh, Happy, in the meantime, continuing his build with a reactor factory. And he's adding on a tech lab onto the barracks, so we may see cloaked banshees as well. He's working off of two gases. And. Uh, so barracks with the tech club and uh, the starport are really close to one another, so we are uh, we may see a switcheroo happening over there. One reaper may go down here. The drones are trying to get it. Do get it. Nice micro from uh, from a Nurcio. Loses a drone because of that, but overall, uh, well, actually, three workers killed and four zerglings. That's not too shabby by uh, by happy by any means. He's going to lose this uh, reaper probably. Still, wow, keeping it alive for such a long time. Such a long time. That is awesome. And this Reaper will could actually get patched up as he, it's almost full health again. Will it get another kill? 
probably oh did get another kill. Wow. Happy why are you so good at it? here are the four Hellions uh, roasting even more drones while all the queens are being distracted. Nurcio spreading those drones apart, but look how many drones he's lost already. 17, 18. Wow, and Happy will even... Is he going to save all those Hellions? Or is he just going to try and go into the main base and do some more damage, some more scouting? He will end up losing those Hellions eventually, but this was definitely worth it. And with those Banshees coming in, we should have a Banshee somewhere out of the map already. Yes, we do. Will these links see it? Yeah, they barely do. Nurtio should know what is coming up. The spore crawlers are being constructed uh, uh, at the third base and nowhere much else. This could potentially do a lot of damage depending on uh, depending on the micro of Happy. Wow, 19 drones killed so early in the game. Happy doing an outstanding job with his uh, early game. Harass. Third command center on the way, so no additional barracks being added on. Now, of course, this means that the if Happy wants to continue the game with any kind of infantry play, his infantry on the ground will be weak for a long period of time. If, however, he wants to continue with mech, then yes, this is very good for him. Banshee has gotten a couple more kills. And now two Banshees are in the air. The squadron of twins. Nurcio yeah. not liking his old lords too much. He's like, yeah, I can let this die. Probably. Finally moving it back and we have a... Holy moly! We have ten Hellions moving across the map. Do we have an armory? Uh, double armory coming up, so definitely mech play. And this could do a lot of damage. Those Hellions, they're pretty effective against Lings, and as long as, uh, as long as Happy can somehow target down the detection. Okay, he can't, because there's an Overseer, but uh, he definitely can do a lot of damage over here towards those dudes and those Lings on the ground. Which will make any subsequent uh, Hellbat attacks all the more deadly. Those three Banshees still in the air, and he could transform these into Hellbats right now if he so wanted. One Banshee went down over there. Uh, Hellbats would be so effective against those Queens right now. But no. Happy pulls back, he probably wants to repair all of his units, and he's adding more and more and more. Aliens. Uh, what the... Oh my god. Nurcio, what are you up to? Where is the Nidus gonna go? Because, you know, Nurcio not in the best of positions right now. He's A, he's playing against Mac. B, his army's supply is like half that of Happy. C, he's taken so much damage from those attacks. 25 workers. If we take a look at the resources lost, Happy is way ahead of Nurcio in, the, in this department. So I wonder where... Well, Nurcio is going to try and play this with Nidus Wormed Roaches with Burrow and Speed. I don't know. I mean, Happy can just buckle down playing defensively if he wants to. That's the Terran, Terran strength. And the Nidus Worm is going to go up down here, so Nurcio may be thinking of moving into the main base. Uh, he could put a second Nidus Worm into the main if he wants to. This is, a, this is a big army, and now, oh, you see that reaction, Happy immediately, not knowing where the Nidus Worm has spawned. Oh, the supply depots, oh, barely go up, they barely go up. And Happy, I think, uh, this is a lot of roaches, but there's a lot of uh, Banshees here as well. Five Queens, full of transfusion energy, but with these stores coming into the battle as well. I think Nurgio will have to back off. This is not going to work. Uh, no amount of transfusions is going to keep this army alive. And here we go. Happy has been lured into a trap and I think he will be able to prevail as long as he kills those queens off. He will be able to finish off those roaches. Here come more tanks, more banshees. The queens are still alive but falling slowly. Last queen falls and this is easily pushed back. And Happy still ahead. 
How many workers has he lost there? 16 workers. That's not a whole lot compared to the fact that Nurtio is down to 58 drones. His income is not looking very good considering that he made so many bad trades against the Terran player in this game. So another Nidus Worm goes up. This is a very interesting style Nurtio is playing, but I feel like Happy over time is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. He has to keep those Banshees alive, however. Thors are super important as well in this composition because they do bring down Overseers. That, that's the only mobile detection. Here comes Nurtio once more with the fast Remax with those Roaches. Roaches trying to crash themselves against the Hellbats and wow, Nurtio just leaves the game.